All right, let's get WAN 2.2 fully installed in Comfy UI, including all the necessary models and dependencies. First, we're on the Hugging Face page for a GGUF version of the WAN 2.2 image to video model. I'm scrolling through the files here. For this setup, I'm going to download two of the 14 billion parameter quantized models. I'll click the download icon for the WAN 2.2 image 2 video high noise GGUF file first. And now I'll grab the low noise file as well. Now that those are downloaded, let's move them to the right place. I have my downloads folder open, and my main Comfy UI portable installation folder open in another window. For these specific image to video models to be recognized, they need to go into the Comfy UI models UNet folder. So, I'll just select both files from my downloads and drag them right into the UNet folder. Next up, many of these advanced workflows use Allura for extra control. I'm on the page for the Light X2 Volts Image 2 Video LoRa and I'm going to download the rank 32 safe tensors file. Okay, the LoRa is downloaded. This one goes into the LoRa's folder. And we'll move that light x2v safe tensors file from downloads into the loris folder a full one 2.2 workflow requires a few more key components we'll start with the text encoders i'll follow their link to the repackaged models on hugging face this page has the text encoders we need Okay, with the text encoders downloaded, it's time to move them. These files belong in the text encoders directory. I'll navigate to that folder now. Now I'll drag the safe insert file and drop it into the text encoders folder. The last essential piece we're missing is the VAE. Back on the GitHub page, click the link for the WAN 2.1 Safe Tensors model. I already have it downloaded, but if you don't, download it through the link. This file goes into the VAE folder. Okay, all our models should be in place. I've also downloaded the WAN 2.2 safe tensors. This file goes into the VAE folder.
Now let's grab a sample workflow to test everything. Now inside the Comfy UI, the first thing I'll do is open the manager. I'm going to click update all to make sure all the custom nodes are current. It will prompt for a restart, which will confirm. Let the browser reload. OK, with a fresh, updated interface, I'll click Open then open the workflow file we downloaded. If you don't have Sage Attention installed, you will get a message like this. This means we're missing a Python dependency. I'm going to bring up my Gemini CLI. I've given it the error message and access to my Comfy UI folder. It's immediately identified the missing Sage attention module. Gemini CLI is smart enough to search for a better solution. It's found an installation helper script on GitHub. I'll authorize it to download and run the script. It automatically downloads and installs all the correct versions of the dependencies like Triton and Torch. Make sure to copy and paste this link when needed for the CLI. I've also added all the links in the description for easier access to all the necessary files you'll need for this workflow. After the install, it found an error related to FP16 accumulation and diagnosed a PyTorch version issue. If you get the same message, just write it to the CLI. It's now fixing it by uninstalling the conflicting version and installing the correct nightly build of PyTorch 2 7.0. This saves a ton of manual troubleshooting. All error messages should be resolved. Restart your comfy UI. One more time and everything should be good. I'm loading a different workflow now, one that uses an image of a wolf as the input. I'll then prompt for the wolf to stand on a cliff with dark clouds and lightning. A perfect animation of our wolf standing on a cliff with dark clouds and lightning. These generations take about 4 minutes to generate, which is pretty fast. Just to show another example, here's a workflow ready to go with a seal wearing sunglasses. The possibilities are endless now that the setup is complete. Look at the high quality of the video. Hairs and whiskers moving, reflection on the glasses, clothes flapping. Now this looks really good. And there you have it. A complete installation successfully generated videos. I really hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If you enjoyed the video, please like and share, and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials just like this one. Thanks for watching.